So in this video, I'm gonna cover exactly how to plan your day in a way that is gonna make you productive, efficient, and making sure that you ultimately are creating the results that you want in your life. Now, as you're watching this video, if you like it, don't forget to hit like, and if you have any perspectives to share, please do comment below. And also, don't forget to hit subscribe because I do plenty of videos like this three times per week. Uh, so hit subscribe just below this video if you're enjoying it. Now, when we're planning our day, it is super important, first of all, to make sure we have the foundations in place. Now, this might sound super obvious, but so few of us actually do this, and it means that the results that we create and what we ultimately do and how productive we are is massively reduced because we just don't do things right from the word go. And we need to make sure that before we even start thinking about planning an effective day, that we are getting in line with our vision, our goals, and the outcomes that we want to create in our lives or in our business. So what I mean by that is getting very clear about what is, the, what is it that you're working towards. Now, if you, had, if you think of a typical ideal day, like the perfect ideal day that you could be living in the future 12 months from now, right? 12 months is a, a, quite a good um, benchmark because it's relatable, it's not too distant, but it's also giving us enough time to action a plan to get there, right? So if you could be living your perfect ideal day in 12 months, what would that look like? What would the vision of the future be? And don't sell yourself short on this because so many of us will set this based on where we are right now. That's fixed mindset. That's looking at how much money we currently have, how much time we currently have, what we're currently doing with our life. And then we'll decide, well, based on that, I think that I might be able to increase my income by 20% or I might be able to you know, start saving a deposit for a house or something. Fixed mindset. Growth mindset is saying, forget what we have at the moment. What do we want to create? What is it that we want to bring into our lives? And then how do we acquire the resources that will enable us to do that? That's growth mindset. So always set your vision, set your ideal day, that future that you want to create. Always do it from outside of your current reality. Just imagine if I could have anything, if money was no object, I've got all the free time in the world, I don't have to work for a living, if I could have anything, what would my, de my day look like? And that's gonna start to form your vision of how you want your future to look. And apply this same concept in business as well. You know, if you could be building or running or scaling any kind of company that was having any kind of impact in the world and making any kind of difference for any number of people, how would that look? So set that vision of the future. And once you've got that, you wanna start figuring out some outcomes that you're working towards, right? And this is gonna to start to form your daily plan. But you wanna figure out outcomes that are gonna move you closer to that. And so the way that you're gonna do that is I'll, I'll dive in now to uh, show you a system that I use for planning my day uh, and ultimately setting those outcomes effectively, all right? So, we have a system here called Trello. Now, Trello uh, you can use for free. I think I'm still actually on the free version. Like there's so much stuff with the free version um, that uh, you, you don't necessarily need to get the paid version. Uh, and what I will typically do is I will start to um, create lists in Trello based on the outcomes that I want to uh, create in my life. So let's say, I'm gonna keep this super simple for this example, but in my main business, Scrap the 9 to 5, uh, one of my, my outcomes is that I wanna empower people, empower more people with what they need to create lives of freedom and to get out the corporate rat race. Right? So one of our outcomes is we want people to be successful in online business, uh, and the more people that we can get to do that, the better. Okay, so uh, if I put empower uh, people in Scrap the 9 to 5, to create freedom. Now, to achieve that outcome, what do I need to do to make that happen? Well, I need to um, produce more high quality, in fact, I'm not even gonna use the word more, um, I'm gonna produce high quality ads that are targeted. Uh, I'm going to um, connect with um, highest level clients, so coaching to empower them, 
and as well, and, and this, by the way, this is gonna be for coaching on their own businesses, because that's the outcome. We wanna help people create success in their own businesses and lives, and uh, also content. So produce uh, high quality YouTube content. Okay, so I'm using Trello to say, right, well, here's, here's this, the area of my life that I wanna work on. This is the outcome that I wanna work on in my business. And these are the things that I can do. And there's gonna be many more, but I'm gonna keep it simple for this video. Uh, but these are the things that I can do that are gonna help move me towards that outcome. And just to clarify, the point of doing this this way is that so many of us, when we're planning our day, will wake up and we make the catastrophic mistake of saying, what do I have to do today? You know, we'll look at our email inbox, we'll look at our tasks, we'll look at what our boss has asked us to do, we'll look at the project deadlines that we have, we'll look at our current environment and we'll literally be like a hamster in a wheel just figuring out what do I have to do today that based on what someone else has told me or something else has told me and nothing that we do ends up focusing on the outcomes that we actually want to create in our lives. Right, so doing it this way round, right, if we go back to Trello, doing it this way round is gonna enable us to make sure we're focusing on what counts. So let's say health is another one. So what is an outcome that you want in health? And you might want a certain type of body, you might want a certain type of you know, result, you might be training for a marathon or whatever. So let's say you were training for a marathon, training for a marathon, sorry. Right, so that's the outcome, training for a marathon. Now what do you need to do to achieve that outcome? In fact, hold on, let me just reword that. Um, Complete marathon is the outcome, all right? And what you might need to do is you might need to run um, run X amount of practice marathons before, before then. So this week you're gonna run, uh, run a practice marathon. Let's say you need to look at your diet as well. You need to um, continue with your nutrition plan. All right, let's say you need to maybe have a coach, so connect with your coach. You know, whatever it is, what is it? So what are the things that you can do that are gonna help you towards this outcome? And keep doing that with all the areas of your life that you have outcomes in, so things that you wanna create in your, in your life. Uh, and what you're then gonna have is a series of cards in a series of lists for you to focus on. So what I do, um, there's a number of different ways to do this, but there's something I do uh, use called an ICE rating. Now, an ICE rating stands for I for impact, uh, C for how confident are you that you will actually have that impact, and E stands for ease of implementation. So the result of this is that you, uh, each rating is out of 10, right? So the I, the C, and the E are all out of 10 and then you're gonna end up with three numbers and then you take the average of those three numbers and that'll give you an ICE rating. So I'll show you what I mean here. So let's say for example, um, on this one, like so. Uh, so I for impact, produce high quality ads. Well, I know that's gonna have a very big impact because um, that's gonna dictate the quality of traffic that I bring into my business. It's gonna dictate you know, my front end costs in marketing. It's gonna dictate my ability to scale. So the impact, is gonna be very high on this one. I'm gonna give this probably a nine. How confident am I that it will have this impact? Well, it's been the backbone of my entire business for the last three years. Um, I've been doing it successfully. So again, I'm super confident that it's gonna have that impact. I'm gonna give that a 10. And ease of implementation, well, uh, producing good ads can take some time. It's gonna take scripting. It's gonna be pretty time intensive, but I do now have a team to help me with the back end stuff, like the video editing and the, you know, the B-roll and um, audio, et cetera, et cetera. So ease of implementation, I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna write that there, I'm gonna give it a five, all right? So the ice rating now is gonna be nine plus 10 plus five, which is 24, and then I divide that by three to get an average, and that's gonna give me an ice rating of eight or 8.0. And what I'll typically do is just write that in the title, give it an 8.0 and you can also use labels as well so if you want to have like different colors for different ratings so like you know one to three and four to six and seven to nine and then ten or whatever just you can use your different colors to do that so let's say I've labeled this as like you know high and you can do this for each of the areas give it an ice rating and then whichever um, tasks have the highest ice rating that is the stuff that you're going to focus on 
So you might do one more list for today and you say, right, today I'm gonna to do that and I'm gonna do that, all right? And you might do two or three key things that you wanna focus on that are gonna move you forwards in the areas of your life that are most important to you. So using this system as a baseline, that's gonna enable you to structure your day, structure your time on the things that are um, gonna enable you to be most productive towards creating that vision of the future that you actually want. You'll notice that on this, it's very unlikely you're gonna have things like reply to emails or stuff that we'll typically be very busy doing for most of the day, but actually aren't gonna drive us anywhere towards the things that matter to us in our lives. All right, once you, by the way, another thing to do, once you've got this, uh, what you can also do is um, make sure you allocate and schedule these things into your calendar. So whether you use um, you know, iCloud or Google Calendar or whatever, you can block out uh, parts of your time in your calendar to actually work on these things. And doing it distraction free is super important. I did another video on how to improve focus, um, which if you click in the top corner should be that side. Right now, uh, you'll see a link to watch that video, um, which can help you make sure that you do focus on these things that you've planned into your day. All right, so thanks for watching this. I hope it's been powerful. If you've liked this video, please hit like below uh, and also comment if you do have perspectives to share, other things that can help because a lot of people do get a lot of value from the comments in these videos. And if you've enjoyed it, please hit subscribe. You should see that in the bottom corner right now. Click subscribe for three videos per week like this designed to help you move forward in life and in business. All right, thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye for now.